Hey guys, I'm Zari. In today's video, I will share with you how to draw and shape eyes in Clip Studio Paint. And the end of the video will be small bonus for you. Before you continue, please like and subscribe. First of all, we are starting with drawing a rectangle. It can be any shape, larger or smaller, depends on which shape of eye you want. Shaping eyelid is one of important parts because due to that you create in volume. Need to remember that sclera is spherical. So shaping eyelids is helping to understand shape of sclera. Drawing a pupil small or huge depends on the emotional condition of a character as well as from light. Remember that distance between both eyes is one eye. It helping you to understand proportions better. When you draw in eyes, remember about race of character because it affects shape. Make a research to understand better how the shape of eyes affecting character's performance. In anime style or mixed cartoony styles, you can observe that shapes of eyes are based on specific parameters of particular style. So you have to fit style of characters via making eyes in one stylistic manner. Here you can see how you can adapt eye for a character. Third pair of eyes are originally made as male eyes, but via adding eyelashes you can create female eyes. In fact, if you can understand structure of an eye, how to create an eye, you can do eyes for any gender. Funny fact that when you are creating younger characters, you are doing bigger eyes. When creating older people, you will use smaller eyes. One of the important parts of eyes expressions is eyebrows. With the help of eyebrows, you can shape expressions of characters. Thickness of eyebrows is also playing a great role. The more expressive character you want, the thicker eyebrows you ask. It depends. You have to understand that eyebrows are being one of the most important parts in creating character's expression. The other role takes mimic wrinkles. Mimic wrinkles are mostly used in creating grumpy faces or smiling faces. It depends for sure on age of character, gender and personal characteristics. Creating right shadows on eyes also help in a lot in performance of your work. The more colorful environment you use, better. Healthy eyes sclera is white. In coloring you are not using pure white nor pure black colors. You have to remember that. So healthy sclera is light gray. It can be in color variation of gray. For unhealthy one you can use more yellowish color at human beings. For anger you can use more pinkish due to capillaries. In general, you can try different varieties of color and sclera. In unhuman characters, you can do anything. There are no rules. For human physiology, you need to follow some rules as well. Like on first example, I am showing unhealthy look of an eye, adding tears and yellow sclera. Also, some capillaries can be added by wish. To show unhealthier look, you can experiment with color variations. Iris color can literally be anything as we draw anime and cartoonish things. For more natural look, you need to do research on eyes, natural colors and their mixes. Some of them are really fantastic. You can do mixed varieties of shape of pupil too. Making more catish or snakey eyes and so on. Like in anime, you can add some stars or white circles inside of it like on set drawing. I am showing you super wrangly look with capillaries using light pink for sclera. For iris color, I am doing one trick to show range of character. Pupil is becoming smaller. To show that madness, you can make pupils of different sizes. Also, I am adding this red circus line pupils to show in the red of a character. So now let's reshape our eyes. For that I am using Clip Studio Paint tool called Mass Transformation. I am selecting I am selecting one eye with a tool called Selection Area and applying to it Mass Transformation. You can see the squares and squares and square points on the corners of each square. The square points you can 
drag and apply in the shape you want. On this angry eyes, I have selected one eye to make a smaller due to madness to show how character is super pissed. On unhealthy eyes drawing, I am making teary eyes, half closed. It means I am making the narrow one to show how eyes are reacting. On healthy eyes look, I am making eyes bigger means more expressive. We actually can do anything with Clip Studio Paint Mass Transformation. That tool is quite helpful when you are doing a comic or webtoon and you need your character to change eye look quickly. You can experiment with eye shapes. Also, it's important to remember that eyes are very first thing that people look at when see your drawing. It is human nature to check person we are looking into their eyes. With drawings, there are no difference, so you have to make your character eyes as expressive as possible. You can make experiments with shape, you can also do a research on eye shape and of almond, rectangle, triangle and so on. Now let's create a perspective look. We are separating looks. I will be showing you how eyes will look in particular angle and how you can adjust your flat looking eyes in a perspective. First pair of eyes you see as from position of face. So eyes are looking forward. When you are going to draw lips, you have to remember to create a straight line from pupils to lips corners. So it is how proportion looks. Also remember about triangle which shapes from pupils to nose so you can create beautiful proportion faces. Also don't place eyebrows too low or too high from an eye. I personally love to draw eyes. My drawing after creating a post sketch in fact starting with drawing eyes. You draw eye and you proportionally can see where your face look going. Now I will show how to create a perspective use of the same mesh transformation tool. You literally just shift in wall drawing to side you want. Drawing turn around is very difficult when you are not understanding how perspective works. In this case, I am making far eye smaller and more squished view at the nose as covering half of an eye. It shows that eye close to us is bigger. Creating of an optical illusion is one of the basic skills of an artist. While drawing eyes in any angle, remember about pupil, lips, lines, pupil, nose, triangle. Now I will show you how to create look from this perspective goes down, down, far smaller. Now you can see how I am adjusting eyes to a model. Enjoy the process.
Hope you like the video. Bye.